Hey, it's Ninja Veed. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's 100% Fallout 3. <sighs> if you enjoy the series, please remember that leaving likes, leaving comments, subscribe with the bell turned on, all helps out the series to grow. Thank you to those who do that, and big thank you to my patrons as well. If you'd like to be a patron, the link is in the description below. And also, if you'd like to catch me live on Twitch, all the stuff's in the description below. <sighs> Welcome back to Let's 100% Fallout 3 Electric Boogaloo. Turn that pit boy light on, gosh dang it. Why would you turn that pit boy light on? Why don't you go ahead and turn that pit boy light on? Why don't you go ahead and turn that pit boy light right back on? Okay, uh, let's press tab and take a look at what we are doing in our data, in our questuses, in our notices, in our questuses. You gotta shoot him in the head. Bring Dukov's key. Kill Dave, get his key. Kill Ted Strayer, get his key. Kill Alistair Tenpenny, and get his key. Who the heck is Ted Strayer? I've asked this question before. Ted Strayer, I remember his name. I think I'm thinking of Ted Gunderson from Fallout New Vegas. How the heck do you get out of this place, you by the way? So tough. You don't look so tough. That's the cure for a Is Ted Strayer here? Wait a second. Sister's hotel door locked very easy. Sister, marketplace closed at night. Rivet City Mark. Is Ted Strayer here? Oh, Ted Strayer might be here, actually, now that I think about it. Okay, that takes us back through there. Where does this go? Ted Strayer. I'm trying to remember who that NPC is. It's been so long since I played this. Oh, okay. We got a whole bunch of... Yeah, it looks like somebody is in Rivet City. Okay, so if we walk in Rivet City, into Rivet City, where is this telling us to go? It's going to be hard to tell because everything's on the same level as usual. Oh, looks like we found them. Yep, it's leading us right to an NPC. Maybe they're in here? No... Where could they possibly NP be? Maybe here? Hello? Ted Strayer? Good to see you. Ah! Okay, I'm gonna make a save here. That's fortunate. Hello? Ted Strayer. You can chill with me if you want, dude. Uh, sounds like a plan, man. Alright, you and me just hanging. Do you know a Mr. Crowley? Whoa. That's a blast from the past. My dad knew a dude named Crowley. I never met him, though. I think dad said he died when they were checking out some old fort. Do you know what they were doing at the fort, Ted? Nah. He said that old man Tenpenny hired him and some other guys to go in there, but he never said why. My dad made enough caps off it to set him up good, though. What do you know about Tenpenny? Everybody knows he runs Tenpenny Tower, but I never met the dude. I swear. Can you think of any reason he might want you dead? No shit. That dude wants me dead? If you give me something personal of yours as proof, I'll lie to Crowley. Whoa. Is this, like, worth caps? Because I got needs, man. Just, uh, give me all your st uh, I don't know about that one. Give me that key. I hate to see you bleed to death. Uh, sure, dude. I don't know what it's for anyway. Don't need to get all thug-like. Ted Strayer's special key added. That was quite easy. Let's see if Ted has anything else to say. Dude, you got your key. What do you want now? See you later, Ted. Later, dude. Later, Ted. Yes. Uh, who are you? Mei Wong. I'd rather be alone just now. Okay, fair enough. No one's pressuring you. There we go. Okay, excuse me. All right, so that's Ted Strayer. Hey. 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 How's it going? Hey. Have a seat anywhere. Someone will be with you. Okay, let's go ahead and leave Rivet City. And now, where do we want to go? Let's take a look at the quest. Bring Ted Strayer. Bring Dukovs. Kill Dave. Get his key. Kill Alistair Tenpenny. Let's take a look at the world map. Who is that? Who is this? Museum of History. That's going back to Mr. Crowley. Who's way up here? Ooh. The Republic of Dave. Oh, that's a fun one. And then way over here is going to be Tenpenny Tower, which we're actually pretty close to. Uh, yeah, let's do this one first since we're closer. We may be able to pick up some locations, some locales. Does it keep turning my Pip-Boy light off? Why? I want it on. 
Okay, so spoiler alert, that's Tenpenny Tower up there. And if you side with uh, the other guy, Mr. Burke, I think is his name, in Megaton, you end up going here to blow up Megaton with the nuke that's in it, which such a great idea for quest, and especially like the, the, the opening, you know, side quest. But we need to talk to Tenpenny for a different reason. We need to get his key for Mr. Crowley, who clearly is lying. He, If you're not putting it together, he clearly wants to access a fort that's locked with, like, all manner of keys. Uh, I think he said these humans were ghoul haters or something? You've discovered Tenpenny Tower. Please, God. So thirsty. You can tell Tenpenny he can kiss my ass. We've got plenty of bottle caps. Let me in, goddammit. How many times do we have to go through this? You're not getting in. I can stand here all day yelling at you through this damn speaker if I have to. I've already told you Tenpenny won't allow zombies to live here. Who the hell are you calling a zombie? You're definitely not human, that's for damn sure. For the last time, no zombies allow. Can't you tell the difference between me and a feral? Fine. I'll show you the goddamn difference. Just you wait. You'll get yours, all of you. What are you looking at? I'm looking at you. What are you looking at? I want to talk to you about what just happened. I thought I told you to get the hell out of here. Tenpenny doesn't want your goddamn caps, and I don't want the goddamn headache. For the last time, get your rotten, ugly, goddamn ghoul ass off Mr. Tenpenny's private property. Goddamn ghoul ass. I don't think you're talking to the person that you think you are. Oh. Thought you were that damn ghoul. Well then, back to business as usual. <laughs> you were trespassing on Alistair Tenpenny's private property. Redder's an official business only. I'm, uh, here to see Tenpenny. <laughs> That's rich. What would a man like Tenpenny want to do with a waste rat like you? I have a lucrative offer for Tenpenny. Let me in or you'll come to regret it. Just a minute. Let's not be hasty. If Tenpenny is interested in what you have to say, I suppose you should get your chance. Though he normally conducts all his business through Mr. Burke. If Tenpenny doesn't want to talk to you, and you best leave him alone. If you bother Mr. Tenpenny or any of his residents, I will be very glad to forcibly show you out. Do we understand each other? Good. We do. Thank you so much for the opportunity. I appreciate it. Uh, sorry, uh, uh, Roy Phillips. Uh, yeah, uh, the door is open if you want to storm the gate. Welcome to Tenpenny Tower. Don't do anything stupid. Hey, how's it going? Uh, I will not. Just looking to get a key from Alistair Tenpen E, which I'm sure is going to be quite easy, don't you see? Okay, so let's see. How do we get up to Tenpenny? It's a presidential suite I'm forgetting. Maybe this? Elevator to Penthouse Suites? Is it really that easy? We can just go see Mr. him? Mr. Tenpenny isn't taking callers. Isn't taking colors. I'm here to see Tenpenny, but if you weren't so incompetent, you'd know that. Hold on there a minute. Oh, all right, I'll let you in, but if Tenpenny hollers because he isn't expecting you, you're dead. That's fine. Ooh, Alistair Tenpenny sweet key. Go ahead and nab that really quick. Thank you, appreciate it. Bye-bye. Metal door to Tenpenny Tower. Hello. How did you get past the guard? What do you want? Do you remember Mr. Crowley? The ghoul? He's dead. Died 20 years ago. Good riddance, too. I hate those shufflers. Mr. Crowley is alive. How did he die? Who cares? I hired some mercenaries to get me some equipment from Fort Constantine. He was one of them. Of the five, only three survived. You'll have to ask one of them if you want the gory details. You've satisfied my curiosity. So easily? <laughs> Somehow I'm not surprised. Mr. Crowley wants that key. Actually, let's get all the information first. Quite a tower you have here, Mr. Tenpenny. 
Some might say Tenpenny Tower is my crowning achievement, but no. No, no, my dear boy, it is just the beginning. Tell me about yourself, Mr. Tenpenny. Oh, it's impolite for a gentleman to talk about himself, but I'd hope this magnificent tower would speak volumes. Okay, short and to the point. Mr. Crowley wants that key. Now. What key? Oh, that key. You're a moron. I don't have any of his precious keys. Idiot! Do you remember a Mr. Crowley? The ghoul? Okay, let's see. I'm going to put a bullet in your head, you ghoul-hating P.O.S. Or, Mr. Crowley is alive. I'm here to kill you because you hate ghouls. He's alive? I should have known. It's hard to kill those zombies. You've got to shoot them in the head. Whatever he's paying you, I'll double it. Okay, let's see here. What more than that to spare your miserable life? 300 caps. You mercenaries are so reliably predictable. 100 now, 200 when the job is done. 100 bottle caps added. Optional, kill Mr. Crowley. I haven't heard anything about Mr. Crowley. Okay, interesting. I have to go I now. Know. Run along now. Does he actually not have a key? Does it say just to kill? Optional, kill Mr. Crowley, bring Ted Strayer, bring Dukov's key, kill Dave and get his key. Okay, and I do want to kind of lockpick him. Lockpick him. I do want to say, I do want to see if he's got a key on him, actually, because I don't remember if he does. Alistair Tenpenny sweet key and a sniper rifle. Can we take the sniper rifle? Over here. You've been caught pickpocketing. Okay, fair enough. So he just has the sweet key, which we already have. I don't know if he has... Does he not have? Let's see, we should be able to like explore his his place, right? Maybe he's got one. We've got a wardrobe. Dirty pre-war casual wear pre-war baseball cap. Nothing there. Kill Dave and get his key. I know, I know, I know. Give me a second. Oh, are all the milk bottles a reference to like uh, uh, Howard Hughes and how he like apparently pissed in bottles or whatever the heck? Let's see, we've got a finance clipboard. We can't take that car, unfortunately. we got lying congregational style. Looks like we can't interact with the desk. We've got another wardrobe here with nothing in it. Yeah, it doesn't say we have to get his key, so I'm assuming Tenpenny just doesn't have a key, and he just wants to kill him for... He wants us to kill him just for... Because uh, he actually is a ghoul-hating jerk. He wants to kill him just for retribution. Okay, I think we can fast travel from the balcony. All right, so the last one is Dave, and Dave's way up here. The closest thing we have is Minefield. So let's head there and do some, do a little bit of exploring, and also we'll go ahead and activate Lying Congregational Style to get ourselves a two-speech increase. Okay, we need to go this way. We'll turn on our pit boy light since we're not... Oh! Sorry, Caron. Again, I forgot. Oh, shoot. Not good. Okay. Okay, Charon's not doing too hot. Oh, God. That scared the crap out of me. Man, there are mines everywhere. They should call this place Minefield or something. All right. I don't know if Charon dies, if he dies permanently or not. If that happens, it'll just happen, I guess. Uh, and yeah, I could obviously cut until we get to the Republic of Dave, but like I said, I think we'll... I think we will... Over here. Why do I have... Oh, God. It's a Yaogwai! Oh, my God. No, 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 no. Ooh, not good. Items. Here, let's go to stats. Status. 46 stim packs. Not bad. Okay, we'll use five of them. Okay, uh, what the heck kind of weapons am I using? Let's see, weapons, we've got A321's plasma rifle and a decent amount of microfusion cells. Let's go with that. Woo! Nice! Okay, that, del that did a lot of damage. Yao Gwai Meat, which gives us 10% damage, 8 rads, and 12 HP. We'll take that. Okay. Let's keep it moving. Let's make sure that we're headed in the right direction as well. Yeah. Okay. We got a ways to go. Like I said, I think we'll, we won't cut here. We'll just we'll do some exploring because that is a part of the game. Obviously, we got a rad scorpion. What the heck is that? That's it. 
Oh yeah, good damage. Yeah, really good damage with A23's plasma rifle or whatever the heck it's called. This might be one of the best weapons in the game. I don't know. When it comes to unique weapons in Fallout, I think I always get like them mixed up. I don't know why. I don't memorize them as well as I do in Elder Scrolls games. Okay, we got a long ways to go to get to the Republic of Dave. Uh, let's see. Do I have stim packs? Hotkeyed? I don't think I do. Okay, let's press seven. And then let's press R. What is that? Who is that? The Roach King? Who the heck is the Roach King? I don't remember that. Hello there. The Roach King, who's got five millimeter rounds, a minigun, Raider, Psycho, Tick Helmet, and Wasteland Settler outfit. Which I don't think is unique. I accidentally took all of it. I didn't even press A, though. What does the Roach King have? Cherry Bomb and Nuka Cola. Does he have, like, a chest or something over here? Five millimeter rounds. Excellent. You've lost karma? Oh, come on now. How did I lose karma after looting a guy literally called the Roach King? Okay. Let us go. And there's another guy over here. Who is this? We can press, uh, what is it, V? Enclave iBot. Return right mouse button. Yeah, I've gotten a lot of comments asking me why don't I just use VATS and also telling me to use VATS. I don't know if I've explained this before, but I just don't want to. I don't want to use VATS. I want to focus on trying to land my shots because it's a play style that I haven't really played before. In Fallout, I always rely on VATS. So, yeah, I, it's weird that I have to say it so many times, but... I've got your I'm not using VATS in this playthrough, or at least I'm going to go the majority of the playthrough without using VATS. It's just the way that I want to play. So, once again, please just let me play the way that I want to play. It's, it's going to make for a much more fun playthrough. As I've said, versus me catering to everything that the audience wants. You know what I mean? So hopefully that makes sense. Okay, let's put this away because I believe we do run a little bit faster. And let's go ahead and heal up some. We're about halfway there. S, 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 S. I wonder if it's worth it investing in medicine because stim packs are so expensive, which I like about Fallout games. This place is not safe. Yeah, tell me that. I like that the currency and the economy in Fallout is so interesting. Where things that should be worth a ton of money. See, like, as long as we can shoot straight, like, it's not like I'm horribly inaccurate. You know, at least I think. Okay, we got a couple of locales down here. I wonder if one is one of the locations I'm thinking of. Probably not. It's probably somewhere completely different. What should we talk about on the way over? I've been listening to a ton of King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard as usual. I've mentioned them a lot on my channel. Some people's eyes probably just rolled into the back of their head because I mention them all the time. But they have a new album called Omnium Gatherum, and I've been playing that album non-stop. Absolutely love it. Definitely recommend you check it out, especially if you have Spotify. Just pull up, you know, King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard. Give them a listen. Okay, another Enclave I bought. But yeah, I've been listening to their newest album, Omnium Gathering, which is a double album. The first track, Lunchbox, U.S. Army 30 Handy Flamethrower Recipes, which I think, if I remember right... Is Big Guns, yes, indeed. Um... Yeah, uh, the first track on Omnium Gatherum is called The Dripping Tap, and it's like an 18 or 19 minute song. And I've played it so many times, like I've, I've memorized it completely, every little guitar riff, everything. So good. Anyways, um, I've bought a record player and so many King Giz uh, vinyls as well. Infest, the rat's nest, uh, Polygon Wanna Land is on the way. Ooh, Nuka-Cola Quantum there. Okay, let's try to lockpick this. Gotcha. Flamethrower fuel, microfusion cells. Excellent. We've got another ammo box with an easy lock. But press F to auto open. There we go. Dart electron charge pack. Okay, bye. Okay, let's make sure we're still going the right way. Don't want to accidentally turn and then waste a whole bunch of time. Uh, so, yeah. The reason I love King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard is they've got an album for basically every type of vibe. If you want a... 
Oh boy, okay, we got a fight here. You've discovered Chase Acres Dairy Farm. There might be something really weird at this one. 32 caliber round. Is this where there's something very interesting? We've still got more raiders or whoever. What are these? Goo pile? Raider sadists? Yeah, it looks like raiders. There's somebody, what, inside the silo itself? Or are they up at the top? Oh, they're definitely up at the top. I wonder if I can hit him through the grate. Looks like I can. Yeah, there we go. Okay, bye. Better him than me. Indeed. Okay, let's move left and right to see how far we are from that one and how far we are from that one. Okay, I'm actually I'm gonna make sure here. Yeah, cool. Okay, we're getting closer and closer. Uh, anyways, they've got an album for every type of vibe. If you want to like an economical uh, kind of um, uh, folksy, more like uh, more like up spirited album, they've got fishing for fishies. If you want like a pop. Prog Synthy album. They've got Butterfly 3000. If you want a thrash metal album. Oh! If you want a thrash metal album, they've got Infest the Rat's Nest. If you want a really trippy, uh, I guess, Eastern sounding, maybe a little bit um, uh, wonderful psychedelic album, they've got Polygon to Wanna Land. If you want like a microtonal. Uh, the experimental album, they've got Microtonal Flying Banana, which I guess microtone, microtones or microtonal means like the harmonies in between normal harmonies or something. Uh, I'm not really too sure. They've just got an album for every type of thing, so cannot recommend them enough. Uh, so excited to see them live. Just a biggest fan. You've discovered the Republic of Dave. Is that yours? Hello? Hi, can I come in? It's kind of late to be entering the Republic. Don't worry, I'm just here to play Republic with you. I like playing Republic, even though stupid Ralphie always gets to play as Dave. Here, I'll take you to Dave. Just be sure to call him Mr. President Daddy. He likes that. Okay, sounds good. Thank you, Mary. I never know what to say or do during these parts of, like, the playthroughs where it's just like, ah, let's spend 20 years following an NPC because they move so slow in the older Bethesda games. How's things? How's, uh, how's, uh, how's, a yowza, how's, a how's, a yowza? How's things? How's, uh, how's the kids? How's the mortgage? Doing well? Okay. Open door to the Republic of Dave Capitol Building. Where is this titular Dave or eponymous Dave? We got the ballot box, which requires a key. It's an ammo box, interestingly enough. Man, the Brahmin smell awful today. Ooh, and a new Coca-Cola Quantum President as Dad, well. There's a wastelander who wishes to see you, sir. I you know someone new in my republic. What's the big need, idea? Kinda need this if you'd like look the other way real quick. Thanks so much, excellent. I am Dave. President of the Republic of Dave. You will address me as Mr. President, or I will have you executed. Now, are you applying for a citizenship, asylum, or just vacationing in the Republic of Dave? Uh, most exalted President Dave, I'm an ambassador from the Wasteland. You are? Excellent. It's good to see that the Wasteland has finally recognized the Sovereign Republic of Dave. If the people of the Wasteland are generous and respectful, I might deign to annex them. Anything happening in this place, Mr. President? There's an election for the next president. Don't look so surprised. Can't you see this is a republic? I'd say... Uh, well, I really wouldn't know. I just got here. Ah, a seeker of knowledge then. Well, trust me. An election is what separates a president like myself from a monarch like my father. Your father was a monarch. You mean like a butterfly. So your father was a monarch and you're a president. How does that work? My father inherited his political power from birth and renamed this great nation the Kingdom of Tom. Although I also inherited my political power from my father when I took over, I formed a republic so the people may elect their leader. 
And obviously the name is extremely ironic, the Republic of Dave, a singular entity. Could I help with the election, Mr. President? All right, sure, why not? The people have a tendency to wait until the last minute to vote, but I'd like just to get it over with. I'll spare a few caps if you just tell each of the adults to get over to the voting booth sometime today so I cinch the victory. Not that I have anything to worry about. The people know who their leader is in this republic. Tell me more about the republic, Mr. President. The Department of Tourism usually handles all questions for outsiders. Make it quick. So you're in charge here, Mr. President. That's right. As president, I am head of the Department of Tourist Rights, the Office of Immigrant Affairs, and the Bureau of Dave-like Activities. My proudest duty, second to the presidency, is Commander and Chief of the Army of Dave, the most ruthless military in the wasteland. I'd be interested in learning more about you, Mr. President. Years ago, I freed these poor people from the wrath of Tom, former monarch of the Kingdom of Tom. Afterwards, the people naturally elected me as their president, and the Republic of Dave was formed. Wasn't Tom his dad? Any future plans for the public, Mr. President? Well, the Republic of Dave is the only true sovereign nation in the wasteland. The only really civilized place left in the world. One day, all wastelanders will be citizens in the Republic and know the greatness of their president. Okay. Sounds like a true utopia. That's all I need to well, know. Well, good for you then. Uh, Mr. President, do you know a ghoul named Mr. Crowley? There's a name I haven't heard in a long time. Before the people elected me president, I worked with a mercenary named Mr. Crowley. We were part of an expedition to Fort Constantine. Uh, okay, we have some 100% speeches here. What happened in the fort? Crowley is alive. What happened in the fort, Mr. President? Two of us died, including Crowley. The rest achieved the mission goals and were paid. Crowley is alive, Mr. President. I'm supposed to bring back proof of your death. Alive? I always wondered. He was locked in with a bunch of feral ghouls. They won't attack ghouls, you see. Would you consider taking him a personal item, like this key, and just telling him you killed me? Well, that would be perfect. Uh, what's so special about this key? You need all the keys to get through Fort Constantine. With only one key, there's no point in my going back. A gift of this key would be a strategic diplomatic move, Mr. President. Hmm. Of course it would. I knew that. I was just testing you to see if you would realize it. Here, take the key. It is a gift from the Republic of Dave to the Wasteland. Well, it wasn't that easy. Uh, I'd like to discuss the election with you. The election is still going on. What do you want to know? Who's eligible to vote? That would be Bob, Shauna, Jessica, Rosie, and myself. In the Republic, if you're old enough to carry a weapon, you're old enough to vote. Rosie and Jessica are usually here in the capital. Bob usually hangs out outside near the Brahmin pen. Shauna runs the Museum of Dave, so you can find her there. Are the votes in, Mr. President? Obviously not. Tell Shauna that Dave commands her to vote in the election. She'll come running, trust me. Remind me how I can help the election, Mr. President. I told you before. I'll spare a few caps if you just tell each of the adults to get over to the voting booth sometime today. There's Jessica, Rosie, Bob, and Shauna. I already voted. Did you already vote, Mr. President? Of course I voted. I was the first to vote. Now I'm just waiting for the rest of the votes to come in. Your republic is forfeit. Prepare to be reclaimed by the wasteland. I have to go now. Very well. Okay, so yeah, there's basically an unmarked quest. I don't even know why it's unmarked. I feel like it should be, uh, you know, abs uh, actually marked. Locked use key. Bottle cap. Old painless. Oh, I forgot about this unique weapon here. Steam gauge assembly. Yeah, old painless I think is really good if I remember correctly. So we'll definitely steal that. Uh, let's see. We've got hey, Jessica. Dave says you're okay? Fine. I'd like to know more about the Republic. You should talk to Dave, but okay. Tell me more about this Dave guy. That's President Dave to you. He takes care of all of us. 
Okay, so basically she likes Dave. Could you tell me more about yourself, Jessica? All I have to say is Dave is my... Just because Rosie used to be this big leader out... You're Dave's second wife? First wife. Okay, so Dave has two wives. What's your take on the Republic? Dave is a great leader. He's going to bring civilization... Okay, she's fully into Dave and believes all of his BS. That's all I needed to know. I'd like to discuss the election with I'll you. I'll help you if I can. Who's running in the election? Only... Only Dave. I'd like to throw my hat into the ring and run for the presidency. Mm, I don't think you can do that. You'd better ask Dave. Okay. I'd like to throw my hat into the ring and run for presidency. Did you ask Dave if that's okay? Uh, have you considered running for the presidency? No way. You'd have to be crazy to run against him. Fair enough. I think I get the idea. Let me ask you something else. Anything else? Uh, you should go vote if you haven't already. I guess you're right. I'll go right now. Oh, wait. We should not have her vote, should we? Dave says you're okay. See you, Jessica. You're safe as long as... Okay, so wait. Let's talk to Dave really quick. Out with it, Ambassador. This Republic isn't going to run itself. Uh, I'd like to discuss the election with you. Who's running in the election? Nobody except me. Why would the people need anyone else but Dave? I give them all that they ask for. I'd like to throw my hat into the ring and run for the presidency. I'm sorry, but the president must be a citizen of the Republic to run for office. So you do not qualify. I wonder if you can actually become a citizen. I don't remember. Actually, I think I have all the info I need. Any uh, okay, I have to go now. Very well. Yeah, so I vaguely remember what happens here. There is a way that you can manipulate the election, if I remember right, if you get everybody to go vote. And then we've got Rosie over here as well. Uh, let's try to open this desk. Okay, come on. We got one singular bottle cap. All right, so we'll talk to Rosie at the start of the next episode. Uh, and we'll end this one here. Thank you so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Remember, leaving likes, leaving comments, subscribe with the bell turned on. All helps out the channel and series to grow. Eh. Big thank you to my patrons as well over on Patreon. If you'd like to be a patron, the link is in the description below. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode of Let's 100% Fallout 3. Bye-bye.